One of the tasks that we've, um, you know, undertaken as a team over the last year has been to bulk up the reading content that's available for those enrolled in our programs. Uh, you know, you want to limit the, you know, boredom, you want to uh, maximize engagement. And, you know, despite the fact that, you know, many softwares available, NeuroVisual Trainer included have you know, some pre-built stories, I wanted to show you how we've been adding even more content, more stories, and making it so that you can, uh, you can continue to up the challenge for, for those enrolled in your, in your program. So basically, one of the great features here uh, in terms of from a customizability standpoint is there is the ability to add reading texts um, of your choosing into the program. And as soon as you add them, it gets preloaded into all of the different reading activities. So there's binocular reading, which is kind of the, you know, red, green, or red, blue window reading, which is the movement of, uh, of, um, of words across the screen, uh, the reading speed evaluator, and then static reading, which is again, just going to be showing a single word at, at a time um, to, to, uh, to the person who's chosen that activity. And there's a, there's a wealth of stories already available, but we really dedicated some time to adding uh, some ad additional ele elements and uh, just wanted to show you how to do that. So you can see here within the software, there's a reading text area here. And you go into this particular area, it says we haven't uploaded any, any text. So what you wanna do is you're gonna create a reading text here. And from here, there's a number of open source uh, options available online. Um, if you have, you know, teacher resources or you, you pay for, you know, particular um, subscriptions, you get just a wealth of different activities. I'll show you one here. So the Center for Education here with DePaul University, you can choose stories uh, at a variety of different grade levels. So if we go back here, um, you can choose grade, you know, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to 10. And I'll just choose four and maybe choose this story here. So from here, what you can do is you can actually, you can add it here into the, uh, into the software here as a new story. Oh, sorry, we got the astronaut's diary here. And we will kind of copy the story here. Uh, and you can add comprehension, add comprehension questions. So let's say I wanted to, you know, add a few of these, you know, what color um, was the spacesuit? Now I haven't, uh, I haven't read the story, so I don't know if that's actually in there, but you can go through and you can, uh, you can add comprehensive questions. And a lot of them will actually come with certain comprehensive questions. So maybe you want to say blue, was it red? Was it green? Was it orange? You know, and, and then from there you get, uh, you can pick which is the correct answer. Uh, so you're gonna add a few comprehensive questions if you would like, and now we're gonna create the reading text. So now the really nice thing here is now that we've got this, if we kind of come back into our, our, our clinic in the, in the area here, when you run an exercise, so let's say we start with binocular reading, um, we'd added it, I believe at, um, level four there was the, the, the addition. And we've got the astronaut's diary now available. So we can do it with cancellation. We'll launch it um, here. And again, you have your filters on and that stories immediately into the software uh, and into the program. So you, of course, it's also gonna now be available in um, you know, some of the other reading activities. So let's say we're doing a window reading um, activity here. We mentioned it's level four, so you're gonna find it um, here. Actually, I put it at level one originally there. So here it is uh, in level one, and we're gonna launch it as you go through. And you do the space bar, and you're now gonna get this story. Now, when you finish, all of your comprehension questions are gonna show up, and you've immediately added some more content uh, for those enrolled in your program. So for us, we found this really helpful. We actually just tasked some team members to, uh, to go through and add some new stories, you know, particularly that sort of grade two to five range where we maybe six, where we, we work with, with so many, so many clients. It's just nice to have a variety of different fun stories and to keep it interesting. And again, it's a really good task for your team members. Um, you know, if they have a cancellation or, you know, they have a slower day, it, it, uh, it gives you a way to sort of bolster your content. So when people are enrolled, you can keep it engaged, uh, keep them engaged and keep it fun.